crossed an item of untold beauty and untold power a blood ruby created by someone truly special a deity like no other and he pulls his hand out and shows the the blood ruby and he's been kind of like shaping it a little bit maybe it's a little bit clearer it's in like a cube shape and he shows it and uh he says this ruby a blood ruby the origin the creator of the entire cosmos ao himself oh, i didn't sent create that yeah. you're getting it all wrong you i didn't you're create not, this ruby you you're not ao captain well i didn't say i was but you said the greatest and uh, no, look. Okay, just tell them, maybe not just tell them. Tell them the truth, all right? Just what tell truth? them that the rubies are blessed by Alidamaru. I mean, who is Alidamaru? Ali Damara, sir. Blessed by Ali Damara himself. Sent to said. us for one specific purpose, and that. I believe, is, is to, to reside you. in your museum, showing everyone the greatness of Ali Damara. Ah, uh, you want to give me uh, advantage? <laughs> Do! Because of your... Oh! Yeah, I have advantage. Right? It's just a health action to give advantage. I mean, I, I mean all, all, also Frawl could say something like, Oh yeah, uh, that well, Ollie guy, is, I actually met him. The thing is, we're actually wanting your deception to fail, and my persuasion that it's from Ollie tomorrow to be correct. So that actually oh, yeah, kind like, of works out. Yeah, like, Gerda starts fumbling, he says, well, I mean, it, uh, oh, you know, it could have been blessed by Ao as well, but... These rubies, what my completely inelegant and uncouth friend is trying to explain were blessed by the great god of music and passion and love who touches the spheres with his majesty and power yes i meant to say creator of music not space he's a bit slow I'm not slow. I am too fast. Okay. He's slow. He holds up the the cube towards towards the man. Um. First of all, we were in a conversation. Thank you for interrupting that. You're very welcome. We wouldn't have wanted you to miss this Second opportunity. Second of all. You can speak to me in a moment, once I finish my conversation. We approached from behind. We did not see you were in conversation with another. Oh, I, we I will did. Wait. I did. This was more important. I just bowed to him and, and apologized. If you would Has excuse he? us for a moment. Of course. Very well. I'm sure we have others who would like to make this purchase. We shall go. Turn to walk away with a ruby. Okay. You walk away with the ruby. He, they continue on the conversation that they were having. We'll hang around the museum for a bit. You are? We should. I would, I would like to attempt to eavesdrop on that Because he's going... To buy it, I mean, you're not going to sell it anywhere else. If, he, if he's actually interested in it, he'll seek us out. Well, and yeah, we so we should hang out. around for a little bit. If we leave, then he's just going to assume we left. Why would he look for is, us? Is there a restaurant across the street or something? No, this is a. I mean, there are food stalls nearby. We'll hang out. It's fine. Okay, Gertis can hang out. Uh, I mean, uh, Taylor had something. 
I was not trying to eat. Uh, roll me perception. Uh, you do hear over the roar of the crowd, basically, uh, the conversation that they have. Uh, the gist of it is basically that this man he was talking to is a very affluent noble, uh, and that he is basically donating a very large sum of money to the museum to basically preserve a number of different artifacts, uh, as well as donating these artifacts themselves. Um, mm. to the museum uh, so he was basically already in a conversation of buying something in mm -hmm. the first place uh, well not actually buying them he's getting them for free which is even better so yeah. why would he be so rude as to like turn around and say well please just wait I need to buy something like no Gertis will hang around until he's done uh, eventually the conversation ends, they shake hands, and the man goes a separate way. Uh, he then walks over to you after seeing you in the crowd, Gertis, and, uh, says, Now that my business is concluded, uh, I believe you spoke about a blood ruby. He bows deeply, and he says, I must apologize for my companion's, my captain's rudeness. He's... Admiral. A void-born person, so he's not exactly... Either. Yeah. He's, he's not exactly socially adept. He kind of thinks he's above everyone. It's true. So I do greatly apologize. And I bow again. Got you there, Casey. Well, it's it's true. I do think that because it's true. It does quite seem that he is uh, very. What's the word I'm looking for? Full of himself. Yes, yes, full of himself. But uh, you've caught me in a very good mood, and it seems as though we've just got. Uh, quite a bit of funds for new exhibits. So I would be very happy to purchase this uh, blood ruby from you. Well, of course I'd be willing to sell one. I'd be willing to sell all of them. If you think this okay. paltry little gemstone is all I have, my friend, I have a person-sized lump to sell you. You could create a statue from the ruby we have. Dun dun dun. They're cursed and they will become alive. Perhaps a statue of Ali Damara made out of these rubies could be an interesting exhibit. Yes. That sounds like an exhibit so I would love to visit. They are so blessed. Better, but... Sorry, what? I, I'm just mumbling. I'm not there, so... No, no, Doc. He says, if they here. are so blessed, uh, if you would allow me to bring in a expert who will look into it for me, uh, that would be fantastic. Of course. Do you need a <clears throat> ship or just the gemstone itself? I could take the gemstone or look at the source of the gemstone, if you'd like. He smiles and says, I think you should come and look at the entire lot. Very well. Uh, Just to understand to... how much we actually have. Very good. Allow me to uh, get my colleague uh, in just a moment. And he leaves and goes through the museum. Typical finds colleague. Uh, what are you doing while this is happening, Des? Are you um, going to the food stalls or? I I'm going to go get basically something to eat, and then if I have word from from Gertis that he's headed to the ship, I'm going to head to the ship. Otherwise, if I haven't heard, I'm probably going to head back that way anyway. Got it. After I've eaten. 
you get a very lovely, large um, helping of takoyaki. <coughs> lovely. Mm. Uh, there are shops around, right? Uh, yeah, there are shops. Uh, I'm gonna go. I just need religious supplies, like a lot. <laughs> uh, I, I have it. Sense and things like yes. that. Priest bag. Got it. A lot. Yeah, I was like, I need to start a temple. Please help. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> uh, Pretty much, I I need to fill a small temple with goods. <laughs> yeah. Are there no like monk items besides the monk weapons? Like, Not really. there's no like. There's not a whole lot for monks, magic item wise. There's no like fist trappings anymore yeah, or anything? Or like, there are like holes, enchanted. You know. That's weird. Yeah. That sucks. Yeah, yeah. yeah Dindy's super light on stuff for monks. Uh huh. Especially mm. 5e. Yeah. Well, it's but, because the idea is supposed to be that they don't need them. Use things. Yeah. Like, the whole my, of poverty. And... My, well, that and my unarmed strikes are magic. Yeah. They're considered magical attacks anyway. Mm. Okay. But yeah, I, I just need shit tons of religious supplies. Everyone would get more uh, money once we can find a way to unload all this stuff anyway. So. Mm -hmm. You uh, go over to uh, what is basically a shop for religious antiquities uh, and you purchase uh, a priest's pack. Mm -hmm. about that uh, uh, that would be 25 gold I believe uh, uh, what is in the priest's pack let me look hold on someone's at my door good you have time to look knock knock who's there knock talk to oh, I mean uh, like the best the best you could do for a monk I guess besides like belt and shoes and gloves and helmet would be like a staff, but even then, like there aren't really many like staff yeah. Monks don't get a whole good. lot. No, but yeah, monks sucks, get very man. little. Like, yeah, I mean, I maybe a staff of striking. That's pretty good, but I mean, what does the staff of striking do? Uh, you can boost your damage with one d by one d six. I you think have a staff of striking. No. Could have sworn you did, but oh no! It's it gives you a plus three bonus to attack and damage. And it has another D six force damage, but eventually, I, mean, Monk, I, I think I'll I know, have... but, dude. The the whole eventually thing doesn't work. Yeah. You need to be more effective now. Hmm. Uh, I mean, I've already started a multi class into cleric. So, Four, hold on. Uh, actually. I mean, uh, when I played and, Lava, I did the Staff of Striking and got it yeah, enchanted. Yeah, really good. Oh, I the only the problem was you eventually broke it. <laughs> well, I mean, fuck you too. <laughs> <laughs> and, I mean, and he thought it was a more effective weapon after. Yeah, and he had <laughs> two of them. Yeah, dude. Sticks, it, it stopped being a Staff, it stopped being Sticks. And Sticks resurrects people, as we yeah. all know. Yeah, so I, I could Robert. resurrect two people, and obviously I won in that apparent. Yeah, uh, a priest pack doesn't do me much, because I already have a priest pack. <laughs> I'm already using one. Oh, okay, yeah. so then what would you like? You, Dude, it's easier to just say you spend X amount of gold in, in components, because Which actually is... managing components For is impossible. Guy, yeah. I, which was what week. I, which is what I was about to say, Seeger. Okay, so how much I money have... do you spend? <laughs> uh, let's see. Did you mention spend... to me that you were doing this? I mentioned that I was going to be making the temple. Right, I would have given you two hundred gold towards that then. Oh, I was going to spend two hundred anyway. I'll spend four hundred now. <laughs> okay. So I got just, and I'm just gonna. Either one or two rooms, if I can put two together, I will. So you basically set... You get things to set up an altar. And yeah, a nice an altar. And everything like that. It just, um, just gonna take a room and turn it into an altar. With incense and... Candles. Know, and Candles, yeah. 
Uh, Obviously and, not to yeah. do that while we're in the flow, but... Yeah. 400... 400 GP gold work. gets you a lot of stuff. Good. Yeah, everything is... You definitely get two rooms worth. Is that one for Ollie and one for Daz? No. <laughs> uh, they, they can work. It'll work together. It's close yeah, enough. Yeah, definitely. It's kind of a mixed one <laughs> right now. Okay. Uh, so you do that. Yeah, that's all, that's all I wanted to do. <laughs> five minutes go by, and eventually Gertis, uh, another man with the same person, comes by. Uh, this person seems to be a bald human gentleman uh, with no facial hair and um, very well made clothing. Uh, he just Alexa, sort of says, uh, this is my expert, if you would uh, take us to your ship. Of course, sir. Please this way. And he bows and starts walking. Um, and as he's walking out, he's like kind of like waving to Daz to, to come on. Because he probably like, he's, you know, you're across the street, right? Yeah, yeah he's like, I've already finished eating, yeah. yeah. You've probably already finished eating by now. At which point uh, I've already headed back towards the ship then. Alrighty. If he, <laughs> he sees any one of his companions, he'll wave to, you know, hey, Red and Medic. Uh, yeah. you probably see me leading a wagon. <laughs> I probably have quite a bit of stuff for 400 gold pieces. Yeah, probably. So much so that they gave you a wagon for free. <laughs> oh, It's nice. like a couple of silver for a wagon. Yeah. Oh, nice. I have a wagon now. I'm fine with this. I will keep it in the ship. Might need a wagon. Uh, okay, well, we head on back, I'll lead him back, and eventually get to the ship. Yep, you guys get to the ship. Are you guys, like, on deck, or where's Staz? I would have been on deck, yeah. Gertis yep, just, yep. uh, he, it, he yells, but it's still the same whisper sound. He, like, raises his voice, but it's still whispering, and he says, Captain... I would like to come on board. I've brought a specialist to look at the rubies. Ah, yes, I thought you would uh, seek us out. Come on, then. He leads him on board uh, and heads to the uh, 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 cargo bay. Yep, head down hey. there. Yeah, he just says hello again and uh, continues down towards the cargo bay. Uh, eventually getting there to the site of basically on the floor a well, we would have bunch had them, of rubies. We would have had them put away. In like a box. But what I'll right. do is I'll start out, I'll start lifting them out, and I'll start out by lifting out the seven smaller ones that were from the broken one. And then when they start seeing, oh, there's all of these different ones... Then I'll start lifting out the big ones. Fucking eight of them. <laughs> yeah, we got seven small ones and eight big ones. Very interesting. Very interesting. Uh, if you could, and he motions to his friend, and his friend goes over with uh, a. What's the word? God. You know the... Not microscope. Spyglass? Or not spyglass. Or yeah, spyglass. Like a, a jeweler's loop? A jeweler's eyeglass. Yeah, a jeweler's eyeglass, basically. Uh, and starts looking at the, at, at the rubies. You also see his eyes glow. It's called a loop. <clears throat> um, and then one last thing is he puts his hand over it, not touching it, but over it, 
His hand glows with a uh, sort of radiance, and then he nods slowly, uh, and, he's, and he then whispers to uh, his compatriot. Uh, uh, perception? Can I t attempt it? Sure. You hear, like, bits and pieces of, like, this is blah, 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 blah. Yeah, blah, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, but basically, after after the whispers, uh, you see him straighten out, nod slowly, take his hand to his chin and start rubbing his uh, uh, facial hair, and say, very well, I would be willing to purchase this. As I said, thankfully we have some new funds coming in. How does one hundred thousand sound for the for the lot of it? Um, Go to Stern's to you and says, "Very good, very good. Take it." I, uh, I also whisper to you, they plan to make a statue of Ali Damara out of it. A statue of Ali? Mm-hmm. It'll be one of the prime exhibits. He, he just keeps mm, it's not great. It's he okay. just keeps sort of uh, rubbing his facial hair and he says 105 out, out of well question doc the museum that we went to earlier was there admission in or anything like that or was it just free roaming no it's free roaming okay Advice, pretty good, man. One hundred and five, and you notify us when the statue will be unveiled. I would like to be here. Of course. I believe we are at an accord then. And he holds out his hand. I shake his hand. Curtis is like pissing himself, like yes, yes. <laughs> 105,000 gold pieces it is. And who will I be making this out to? And he takes out what appears to be like a checkbook, basically, and starts writing with a ink quill pen. Yes. A magic make, one. You can make the payment to Admiral Dazimar Del Rovo, the fearless captain of the Far Reaches, savior of the unknown worlds, the explosive, demigod of the sun, the moon, and the stars, the defeater of the beasts of chaos, and the vexer of the chronomancers. That's too long, Captain. Short it in town. He only has one line. <laughs> Very good. Admiral Dazimar de Rovo. Here there we are. go. Wonderful. Uh, and he hands you the check, 405,000 gold, and says, uh, seeing as how you are not a... Uh, local, there is a very large bank nearby my museum. We'll Can't miss it. make a visit to it. Very good. If you could uh, lend your hand with my crew, with your crew, rather, I should say, uh, to transport this, these rubies. Oh, yes, of course. Uh, Frawl. Come carry this. Uh, Frog comes in with the mech. Boom! <laughs> yes. Dun, dun, dun. And picks up the crate. Okay. You pick up the crate and uh, 
Yeah, it has Basically like two cigars, cigars like again. for celebration, puts uh, takes one out of the mouth and then it gives it to him like it's already lit. <laughs> he says thank you and basically puts it into his uh pocket after on <laughs> like uh, still on fire like okay i'm not gonna yeah no that no. <laughs> yeah that would be funny yeah like ha ah, like keeps it going stops cool. every we just like, got 105 grand yeah he stops like every so it's gonna be... to drink a little bit let me guess this is an arcane bank obviously yep and how much is the charge for converting that to actual gold five thousand oh okay that's not much at all so we got a hundred grand yeah we're not getting paid in trade bars it's it is actually a a promise no, no it's gold the money yeah exactly yeah good good let's go get that and let's buy some shit yeah mm. there's six of five of us six of us Four. Not being an idiot how many are five. there Five. Five. Four. You don't get to count your family, dude. No. I I know, four? but there's five of us. Orca, <laughs> Frawl, How is there Gaz, four? Kea, and Gertis. Five? Yeah. Yeah, so I was right. Daz, no, Frawl, you said four. <laughs> no, I said four or five. Ah, because I didn't okay. count. Four or five. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm subtracting one because of Illithid, but he's not. He's already off the list. Well, they yeah. even, even still, there's still five. Yeah, no, that's, that's what I was saying. Is I, I was counting five and then subtracting one, not paying yeah, attention yeah. to the fact that he was already gone. Yeah, so hundred grand. That's twenty grand each, right? That's about yeah. Yeah, twenty grand each. Cool. Yeah, I'd probably say actually what we should do is fifteen grand each, and then keep the rest towards party ships, funds. Party funds. Yeah. Party funds. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm well, just gonna add that. Party funds. Hmm. What are our current party funds? Six thousand. Uh, uh, Doc, could I just add um, fifteen thousand, or is that okay? Something I'm gonna, gonna add, I'm gonna edit the. the um... Yeah, I've I've just added it to my sheet just so I have it to keep. No, no, going. I'm editing the 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 cargo bay. Is we yeah, you can, I'm, you can... I'm currently editing it at the moment. We oh can no! Backtrack I... you guys getting the money if you'd like. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm just talking about that. I'm just adding that to my sheet just so I yeah, know yeah, what exactly. to have. I, I was more asking like if we got fucked on the check or something. Like we got no, there no, and no. it was like you, a... you got there, they gave you the check, okay, uh, cool. you gave them the check, they gave you the money. Done. Yeah, so if we each add fifteen thousand to our sheet individually. I now have sixteen thousand. Uh that leaves twenty six thousand five hundred and forty funds. That's pretty good. It's a lot be, of that's... party funds though. Like we could yeah. still Distribute well, another five k each and still be okay. I well, mean, if something real bad happens, that that. Well, I mean, we're not gonna, out. we're not gonna be, ideally, not gonna be in a situation where we all have no money. I mean, oh, I'm not well, talking about no money. I'm talking about sudden catastrophe where we need all the money. Yeah, re repairs, to, <laughs> repairs to the ship, paying crew. Because we have three <laughs> ships to having, maintain. I think having having a nest egg in the ship funds is a good thing to to have. Well, yeah, I'm not saying don't. I'm saying don't put 26k away. That's a lot of money. I, I think that's a decent. We can take more out as we need it. It's. All right. I, I would I would I would personally rather have more in ship funds than in our own funds. Okay. I mean... It's, right. less, it's less likely to get spent away in ship funds. I could spend even more money in the tip. Well, the point is to spend more money so we have more stuff. But, you know. Who's Jamie talking about? A cat? Oh. Nope. Uh, nope, no, I don't. Uh, Casey. No, that was. Yeah. yeah. Hold on just a second. Jamie is in the car, muted. Mm. Jimmy, you need to get a hands-free set so you can actually talk while driving. Get, get some nice Bluetooth headphones. Uh -huh. No, I mute it because of the wind, though. I mute it because of the noise. Yeah, yeah, but if you have like a hands-free like set, it will cancel out the no noise. Usually, if you get should. a decent set. Should. Yeah, it should. Yeah. It should. It should. It should. Spend all that money on it hands-free, and then it doesn't. And I'm like, nah, I'm good. Well, then you can return it. Yeah. I'm trying not to be. I mean, why waste the time when? 
Yeah, I am laughing and I am commenting. You guys just can't hear it. <laughs> so you just sound crazy. They can't hear it. Well, I don't sound crazy, but then I realize that no one can hear it, and I'm like, uh, no, oh well. At least I know. I know I said that. Ha ha ha. That's funny. Oh, you sit there like, oh, I'm so goddamn funny. <laughs> Uh, just like Madman when he's muted and he says all of those jokes. Yeah, and then he's like, fuck. Hey, 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 I'm fucking That's funny. Right? <laughs> I, God, you had to turn your funny. camera on. I yeah. had to turn my camera on. Okay, uh, Doc. You said... I'm back, sorry about that. I'm sorry, how much was the rod of thing plus two? Was about oh, God, 10,000. 10,000. 10, okay. And That's just a... Yeah. I might peek at what a staff of strike That's cost, but just a plus two. A plus two weapon's not in the scoff at, dude. But no, I'm saying that's just a rare item. The staff of striking is a just very a rare, rare item. item. I'm talking about it in its price, Seeger. Jesus Christ. He, he's saying comparing to the item he wants to buy. Uh oh. That you're recommending. Yours is already 10k. Mine's a step above it. Yeah, it's that's a plus three with say. added bonus. Yeah. I didn't care that it, what its quality was. I'm talking about the price. I could buy all the hamsters ever with, with the money to buy a very rare weapon. Uh, edit, are you currently editing the cargo, Craig Casey? Uh, I finished now. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna mark where the the loot went. Or do you want me to just take it off or mark it? Like the mean? golden sword, the gauntlets, the, the chain shirt. Because we're all wielding that stuff, so. It's not uh, a party loot. Well, yeah, okay, yeah, those you can... I didn't take those off yet. The trinkets we haven't yeah. done anything with. No, not yet. We could probably sell off the rings. You know, you never probably. identified the uh, sword that Thernos gave you. Thernos gave us a sword? Yeah, as an yeah. example of uh, the oh, machine. Yeah. Remember he that? gave someone a sword. No, well, he, he, he said, take that sword. And oh, that, yeah, because yeah. at the time... No one really knew who would could use it, or who would want to use it. So we just yeah. kind of well, we'll look at it later. Yeah. You're talking about the gold flame tongue no, sword? No, no, no. It, it didn't even get added to the list. It's it's another sword that Thernos gave us. Oh, okay. I'll I'll put Thernos's sword. I, I mean, both of us can identify it. So. Yeah. Uh. Well, one of us would have identified it at some point along the way. Yeah. Like how much would a staff of striking cost? I I just want like a base price, just so I know. Um, it's a very rare item. Right. Okay. Cause look at it. The plus three is at least good. The plus three will be nice. Well, yeah, of course. Yeah. It's a plus three magic item, dude. Or an axis one. No, it, no, it uh, is a plus three. Twenty thousand gold around there. Okay, so I, I can't get it quite yet. Uh, pretty soon. Uh, um, is there the anywhere around? The long sword, the long sword that Thernos gave you, is a plus three long sword. Ooh, that's nice. Are you adding that to the group loot, Seeger? Yes, sorry. Um, you meant yes, Captain. Admiral. Shut the face. Is that sword finesse? It's a long, long sword. sword. They are not finesse weapons. Okay. Um, is there anywhere around here that does um, either custom weapons or um, or at the very least magical firearms? Um, you have no idea. You just came to this city. Yeah, we we did just get here. Um, yeah. Could I uh, do my whole rocket boost thingy? What? Yes. Yeah, yeah. You can. Yeah. He wants to create uh, the. He wants to make Rhinoc progress. Rocket. Oh, I thought. You meant you just wanted to rocket boost in the middle of the street. I was like, what? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta try this out. I see this wall over there. I gotta uh, punch through it, man. Just do it. I will. Yeah. I will look around for jobs and shops. Okay. 
Uh, let's see here. Uh, specifically in terms of jobs, I'm ignoring small shit. I want big stuff. I want a lich, a dragon, a fucking good, the good shit. High pan stuff. Yeah, the stuff end. that might kill us. None of these piss in jobs. High risk, high reward. I mean, I'm still up for killing the lich, but we're yeah, not there, I mean, we should, so. We but that's in a different sphere. If there's something in this sphere... I mean, yeah, yeah, but the problem we had last time was that when we arrived, the issue had resolved itself. That's one. So I don't think a lich is just going to resolve itself. Lich is doing. That's why I'm saying so. if there's something in this sphere, then that's we can go ahead and do priority. it. Priority. With that twenty-four, you do know that the green dragon is on this world. Oh, uh, okay. You do know that there is, in fact, a hive of what appears to be a beholder. Ooh. A dungeon, basically, with a beholder in it. Um, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Well, let's get more info first. No, let's do it. <laughs> and <laughs> let's let the DM finish. <laughs> there is also what appears to be a... Uh, Let's see, give me a second. We can convince the dragon to fight the beholder. <laughs> and then we betray the dragon. <laughs> exactly. Perfect plan. Yeah. Hey, you like my, you like the taste of beholder? <laughs> I think I can persuade him to do it. <laughs> oh no, the plan backfired. They are now a couple. Oh. <laughs> Then we have to kill the ghost. God doesn't want uh, to There is actually ghosts. a a uh, a cult of one T hidden in the jungle nearby, mm. on the planet rather. Now Not are nearby. they are they dangerous or are they just a cult? Well, they're a terrifying snake cult. cult. Yeah. Oh, the young. T oh, that. that yeah, people. but I mean, okay. are they actually doing any harm? Or are they just wor worshipping their evil snake god out in the weird? woods? I mean, they're making it so that nobody can enter the jungle anymore. And killing everybody who enters. Oh, that's what we're wondering. Are they killing people? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, they're killing they're everybody who, are, who is entering the jungle. But is it their jungle? Because, I mean, I would kill matter. everybody that entered I mean, my jungle if it was my jungle. They certainly think it is. <laughs> I mean, if I had a jungle, I would kill everyone. Okay, uh, knowing that... Let's, uh, do we want to prioritize this planet, or do we want to keep shopping and then prepare for the Lich? Because the Lich, uh, we can get, like, holy water and fucking, uh, and holy I, shit. Well, I think Liches are, they're such powerful undead that they're immune to some things that affect other undead. Uh, no. Everything has a weakness. Oh, no, they have a weakness, but it's just... He's just saying they're not weak against everything that other undead are. No, we should certainly use the resources we have. We can get. We can get holy water. If it doesn't affect it, it doesn't affect it. it won't, won't kill us to get it, certainly. True. Here we go. I, I could make holy water. I'll, I'm literally a cleric. I'll just uh, go around getting, um, you know, holy items. I'll get a couple of golds worth of holy items, holy water, uh, fucking, you know, that kind of stuff. Okay, very easy to buy. Yeah. All that stuff is uh, in the uh, player's guide. Yep, yeah, I'll get that. It's all common items. Uh, we'll go ahead and buy up potions. Everyone buy potions. I'm serious. Um, yeah, what's the price on... Um, decent healing potions. Yeah, I'd say like greater potions. at least. <laughs> yeah, greater. How much for greater? Greater. <laughs> that's what at most like sixteen at twenty HP. That would that would be about halfway. Okay. Uh, greater are. Let's see. Greater. 
There's also a staff of healing, which could be beneficial. Depends on what it is, though. But healing is a rare item. I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, it lets you cast Cure Wounds, Lesser Restoration, or Mass Cure Wounds. Which is good, but it's a rare item. Yeah. I and mean, that, I, I, that, it's, it's worth getting a price on one. Like well, it's not going to be 20k. Like, the standard healing potion is 2d4 plus 2. We want the... Like Greater one. is 44 plus 4. Yeah, Sup we want that. Superior greater. is, yeah. We want greater. You want greater, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, each greater potion is going to be about, uh, 150 gold each. I'm buying... I buy six. Yeah, I will buy four. Uh, Would you like to know how much a superior or a supreme healing is? Sorry, yes, 150, please. you said? 150. Yeah. Okay. And that was for greater? That was for yes. greater. Yeah, I'm gonna buy four greater. Uh, and then what were the prices for superior? And uh, the other one? For a superior, it is 2,500. So 2,500 gold, gold pieces. Okay. Superior. And for a supreme, which they have very limited amount of. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be... Uh, 10,000 gold pieces. Yeah, no, we're good with that. I'm good with getting four... Um, four yeah. How much do the raiders recover again? 150. Uh, no, but no, uh, 40, they, 44. They recover 44 plus, plus 4. Plus 4. Yes. Yeah. Plus 4. It's always plus the number of die you roll. Well, not for a Supreme healing, but yeah. Uh, supreme okay, healing well. is 10d4 plus 20 for Supreme. Oh, yeah, that's the only one that's different. All the rest are. Okay, cool. Um, what else, guys? Just... How, how much for a staff of healing, just to find out? What is a staff of healing? Is it? Is it, uh... it is a magic item. It is rare. a rare item. A yeah. rare item? Mm-hmm. And I have no... I don't think I have any attunement, so I can use it, because it's for clerics. It's also for bards. A lot. <laughs> 18,000. Yeah. So, yeah. 2k less than what I want, so... Uh, I mean, I'm I'm buying the um, all the holy the, stuff, the wand and shit like that. Yeah. So the rod of pack keeper. See, it's it's got ten charges and it recharges them at dawn. It, mm -hmm. Basically, every morning. Yeah, yeah. The stab is striking like, is the same thing. It's ten charges. I can spin up to three to do another three d six force damage. <laughs> I mean, 18, if you want, I can... 18,000. Yes. Mm -hmm. Since I'm primarily using staffs anyway, I could, like, be a staff person. Are yeah. you a bard, cleric, or druid? A warlock? You can't use it. What? It requires yeah, a treatment by a bard, cleric, or druid. That's bullshit. Well, yep. Um, I can use it, and Daz, you're a bard, I'm a right? bard. I could use it. Yeah, so either of us could use it. And I have no other attunements anyway. Yeah. Um, and I already have... It'll, it, sure. Uh, It'll sit. Yeah. Yeah. 9k each. Yep. <laughs> and we'll just swap <clears throat> off depending on how we need to. Yeah. Um, yeah. That'll actually save me spell slots because I can just use its charges instead of using my yeah. spell slots. The thing is, mm -hmm. I have cure anyway... Cure wounds. Yeah. So yeah, it's probably a good idea for now if you hold on to the staff in case I go down. Yeah. <laughs> oh, because uh, that well, happens I also... often. I don't yeah, know why. That does happen. It's almost all the time. Yeah. Thing is, I also have cure wounds, but this means I can use my spell slots for something else. Yeah. 
Uh, the thing is, most of my spell slots that I have are going to end up being used out of combat. Yeah. Because I have a lot of kind of manipulation control stuff that's not combat stuff. Uh huh. This is a plus two Pact Keeper weapon. <clears throat> Anything else, guys? Like, maybe do you want to pick up a new gun just in case? Well, or... I was asking about <laughs> about magic guns before. Would you like to look into it? Yes, I would. Roll me an investigation check. Oh, bollocks. Uh, I will assist him. Never mind, I won't assist. Oh, yeah, no. Does that give him assist? It gives him... It... You can you just don't have to help. roll for it. Yeah, he got a six anyway. So oh, you cool. don't... I'm sorry, no. you don't no, roll when you assist? It's just an action. Just give me yeah. I'm sorry, I didn't... Yeah. I thought There's it was no always rolling. How dare you! Uh, unfortunately, you are unable to find any sort of magic firearm place. However, you do find magic weapons... Uh, ...which are quite easily available. For example, magic great swords, long bow, yeah. I, I've things got like... The, I've got the flame tongue for a melee weapon. It, it's mainly the the ranged uh, guns that I'm looking for. Unfortunately, you're not able. <laughs> yeah, as soon as you said roll for it, I knew that was going to be the answer. You can hold. Can you hold two wands and get benefits from both? Or as long as you have attunement slots, I imagine. Well, I mean, how does attunement work with one-handed weapons? You attune to it. You don't have to be holding it. Uh, benefits usually. Yeah, and no, uh, can you attune to two one-handed weapons? Yeah, yeah, I can attune to three, three rings. Items. Yeah, it doesn't I, matter I what the item is. Up to three total. If I remember correctly, though, we've never played with the maximum of. No, we uh, haven't. I don't do that. No. Neither. I'm too. asking. Can you do two rods? We have just said yes. You yes. said yes. yes. There's no mind. limitation. Then that's I'm not asking no about a limitation. I'm asking. Yes, you are. You're asking people yes, you once at once, and we said I'm yes. Okay. We said yes. <laughs> no limitations mean yes. 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 <laughs> yes. You're fucking you sitting there completely it. misunderstanding what I'm saying. No, we're not. not. No, we're not. We said. As long as you're attuned to it, you get the benefit. It doesn't matter if you're holding yes. it or not. Yes. That was the first thing I said. And that wasn't my question. Yes, so. it was. Yes, it was. And you then you then have two no, ones at once and, and, and get we, the benefits of both. No, but then we followed up with, and then we don't do attunement limits. Yeah. Which yeah. means that you but can that get only... as many things as you want. Yeah. But I can have three... <laughs> which at all six... does not... Answer my question, but whatever. Yes, it does. Yes. You could have 16 wands, and you would be attuned to all of them. And all of them, can... all of you them do the apply benefit. at once? Yes. yes. The benefits uh, apply at yes. once. Yes. If you yes. have 16 uh, equipped at once, and you're able to have 16 arms, The then only yes. time it doesn't work is if, if it doesn't require attunement, you have to be holding it. Yes. Correct. That's the only time that applies. If it requires attunement, you always get the benefit. Yeah, okay. and you can't have several helmets. You can't because you can't wear them at more than once. Yeah, that still applies. And you can't have more than two rings unless there's a magic item that tells you that you can have more than two rings. Oh, like the, uh, uh, the mummy hand yeah. that lets yes, you add like a ring on it. Uh, but there's also the limitation of actions. So if yeah. you take a wand and in two hands. You're only able to really activate one wand because you only have one action. Okay, so, I will yeah. link both of my items. Rod of the Pact Keeper increases while you are holding it. Increases your attacks and your save DCs. Right. Rod of the War Mage does the exact same thing. If I am holding both, do they both yes. stack? Yes. Yes. So I would gain you, a plus you could hold a one three. In, yes, you could hold one in each hand. Okay. Fuck, that was my question. No, not if wasn't. not if there are limitations or not. We, we but we still said yes from the beginning. <laughs> that's the part that's yes to six different things and brought up something. Just for fucking forget it. Just drop it. Okay. Anyway. Yeah. 
point being, anything else anyone want to do? No, you know. it'll make me roll if I try. It depends on what you want to do. What would you like to do? I'm buying a wand of the War Mage plus one. How much gold? Oh, I, I want to find things, and you'll make me roll for it's an it, and I'll fail, so I, I don't find anything. You want to buy a wand of the war mage plus one? Yes. Uh, bu -bu -bu uh one of the war mage. Okay, um, that is an uncommon item. So. Uh, 300 gold pieces. Okay, let's go ahead and pick that up as well. A lot of the pack keeper is pretty good. Not gonna lie. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Most of the rods are really good. Yeah, they're they're a place where the stuff has really worked. Gotta get yourself a rod of lordly might. I know. That's what you gotta do. I've got an AFK one second at the moment though. Yep. Yeah. So what's up? I'm looking at. Uh, I'm just waiting. I have mm. nothing else I want to do. Yeah. Type of item is cloak of displacement. Does anyone know? No idea. What kind of item is the cloak of displacement? I think it's. I think it's a. It's either a robe or a wondrous it's a item. It's a, it's a rare, rare item, never mind. Item. Oh, okay. That's what you mind. Uh, shielding. Let's go ahead and pick up a ring of mind shielding. Six hundred gold. Is that it? What, yes. what are we waiting on? We were waiting for Casey to come back. But everyone knows that Thrall is the main character, so it's fine. 
Did we get Where's... the uh, the price for all of those things that you needed to buy, by the way? Nope, I think was... you never told me how much. Didn't I say 20k? I'm back. Welcome back. <coughs> it was 20k. What was? Uh, the price of all of the things that Fra wanted to get. 20k? Yeah. I'm gonna need to borrow uh, 6k no. from you, Captain. No. I mean, it's... but it's for something very cool. No. You, you could you see, go ahead and buy half of the parts now. See, I have this plan of... you know you, you know the suit that I have, right? We are about see, to fight a my, my, my mount, you mean. See, see, I wanna have a big, big like a uh, fire on it, like an engine, and uh, I will drive myself into the enemy and I will crush him to wall, towards the the um, wall. How would that be faster than me just flying the suit into the wall? Because then you will be on it and you will also be crashing into the wall. I can jump off? In high speed and you will also be crashing into the wall I, this but I'm, way but I'm amazed. well yes you have a incredible track record of not getting knocked out during fights exactly yes I'm glad you acknowledge that mm-hmm mm-hmm mm -hmm. so how about that loan uh you can take it out of my future savings uh, endeavors wouldn't it be more effective to get like a better weapon than a little boost thing. Oh, I've already made improvements. And uh, he kind of bang, bang on the like drill, and you can see that he has started resting in runes. Like, and then look, and look at this. And they start to glow. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. so you have a light source now. Well, yes, and it's much sharper. I was thinking more like along the lines of a big gun on the other arm. How will I hit people with a big gun? That's stupid. Well, big guns are often also very heavy to hit people with. Oh yeah, I'm. I mean, I'm. I will also add big guns later. I'm just right now. I really want to get in there because it's very slow. Can someone? Please link Xanathar's guide. I'm having serious trouble fucking finding it. Oh, uh, hold on. I know how to get to it. I'm, I'm, I'm struggling to figure out why this is a useful thing. It's a that's a, that's a lot of party funds. Yeah, I mean, sure. 